My name is Earl, and I'm the last survivor of the PDX facility. I wrote a list of things, a list of information and warnings that I wanted to give. As I look at the list now, it doesn't seem as important to me, and I'm going to make changes and issue a different warning. It all started with great-grandfather. Great-grandfather's body came back to life when it came into contact with the positive and negative terminal terminals of my come-along. There were things different about his body. There was an initial response in that his non-invasive examination showed brain activity in his lower order of his brain. The muscle density, bone density, and his skin even showed a higher uh, ratio than seemed appropriate or normal. Great grandfather came to life and attacked me. Six hours later, when I came to, the Bonobos had already broke all restraints placed between them and the very exterior of 800 miles worth of tunnels. They've expanded to cover every exit. The people involved, I don't think anyone survived. Some survived long enough to show some sort of change. After three days of injury, there seemed to be a lessening of the humanity of them. They showed a greater ability to exert force. Their skin became harder. But none survived. I survived this long by electrifying uh, the doors to the communication center with the batteries from the come along. Anything that touches those doors dies. Then, as time goes on, I feel the changes taking place in me. I feel less and less human. And I care less and less what happens other than I want to escape. I've been trapped down here for five days. I've had no communication with the CDC for three days. After I leave here, I'm going to return to the power center of the PDX facility. I'm going to divert all power to the doors. That won't open the doors. The CDC has blocked them from the outside. But once there's power in those doors, those doors can move. They can move with the brute force of thousands of bonobos pushing on them. And once they open, they're going to escape. And once they escape and clear the area, I'm going to escape. I'm going to throw this phone up on top of a transport like I wrote down that I was supposed to do. That's the only warning I'm going to give. In two hours, this transport is going to go underneath the Willamette River and hopefully transmit between 40 and 50 feet through 40 and 50 feet of water. But if not, then there'll be no warning and the streets will just be full of infected bonobos. And slightly after that, I'll be out in the streets as well.